Hi everyone. So I haven't done a corally or softer appearing lip for lip combo of the week in a little bit. So I thought this would be a great fun one to do for you guys for Halloween. This is a candy corn inspired uh, lip. I've seen uh, so many candy corn tutorials in the past couple years where it's candy corn glitter eyes, candy corn eyeshadows that are blended together, candy corn nails. But there's one thing I haven't seen, and that is candy corn inspired lips. So I'm filling that void, and here are some candy corn uh, inspired lips for you. So bust out uh, your eyeshadows, your oranges, your reds, your corals, uh, really nice sort of shiny glosses that are going to kick it up a few notches. And uh, yes, these are candy corn inspired lips. When you see the tutorial, you'll see exactly uh, why I call it that. It's just very well blended out because I didn't want it to be something that you would be afraid to wear out. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. All right, so to get started on this very fun look, you're gonna wanna take a little bit of a sugar scrub if your lips need exfoliating. I took the uh, Lush Sugar Scrub in Bon Bon. And then I took the Lush Maple Taffy Lip Balm and the Lush Color Supplement in my color, which is light yellow. So my whole basic vegan, or my whole basic lip care routine is vegan. Now for other supplies, may not be as vegan because I'm still using them up and eventually they will be. Uh, now I'm going to be using a little bit of Max Mouth Off and I'm going to apply that. Now I've completely aligned my lips. Now I'm just going to completely color them completely in like a colored pencil using mouth off still. Now I'm going to show you what I did with the left side of my mouth. I took a little bit of MAC Cherry Lip Liner and I just outlined my lip like so. and then kind of grade, grade, graded it using feathery strokes. And I'm just gonna take my finger. If your finger is much uh, wider or whatever than your lip, then you could just take a brush. I feel though that certain things that your hands can do are great because like the warmth of your hand is a, is a certain thing that obviously a cold lifeless brush isn't going to have. And then I just filled in my bottom lip. You could skip that step if lip liner, a little bit of lip liner really bothers you. Now we are officially ready to get started on the lip look. The tools that you're going to need are for OCC lip tars, or um, I know what Rite Aid was selling some colored, uh, obnoxiously colored lipsticks not too long ago. If you have paint, mixing mediums, maybe even eyeshadows, you can go ahead and take those. Make sure that they are lip safe. Um, we're going to be taking a bright coral, which is Grandma. You could probably find that in a lipstick. And we're also going to be taking sort of a new dusty, uh, kind of amped up your lips but better color, trollop. I'm also going to be taking a little bit of traffic and a little bit of feathered. So the odd, odd man's out would definitely be these two crazy colors, which you typically don't see a lot of. Um, I know that it's so hard to order on Mac Pro if you're not a pro member. So my advice would be, if you're not a pro member, I'm just going to tell you the names of those items and they are literally mixing medium lip, uh, they're just, that's what they're called. There's a yellow and there's a white. You can get those if you want to order through the website. Um, I know, I know that uh, Mac uses third party testing. I'm just trying my best to help you out here. Now I'm going to be using a little bit of Grandma. And I'm taking this up on an e.l.f. smudger brush. Alright, I'm 
and we're going to do it to the other side with grandma. Once that's on, I'd recommend blotting because it's constant relayering could otherwise get a little goopy. Now I'm going to be taking OCC Lip Tar and Trollop and in case you're wondering if these stay like is this you know um, all those things that you're doing all, are these steps necessary and is it going to stay on? Yeah, for me the OCC Lip Tar is really stain and stay on all day. I don't even have to carry them in my bag. Just put gloss in your bag unless you eat, unless you're going to be eating then maybe you know you need some time in the restroom to fix it. I'm going to be taking a little bit of Trollop and kind of saturating that through the centers. These colors have been out a while, so a lot more people have had ample time to get these. A lot more ample time to get these. I'm going to be getting a little bit of traffic and just sort of dabbing off my e.l.f. shader brush. And we are going to go in You can also take a gold eyeshadow for that, for that move right there. You could paint that right over a true coral lipstick, because I know that anyone will be able to find a coral lipstick. You could also do the same thing with feather. You could take a white eyeshadow. This look is seriously dupable. I'm just taking these lip tars for fun. Clean off my brush. And then we're just going to take a shimmery pink. Perhaps you have a shimmery pink as a highlighter, as a blush, maybe as an eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use a little bit of expensive pink. That'll also dry out some of the lip tar if you're going to use these lip tars. And give the look some stick. And uh, just before you leave the house, I, if you're going to do this at home, you could just wipe off your brush real quick in case there's any lip tar in there, but that's why it's best to have all multi-purpose brushes. And if you're seriously eager to do some gloss, I would do one if you only if you wish, but I wouldn't do one that would be overly pigmented. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Too Faced Barely Legal uh, Champagne Essence Lip Gloss. I'll have to do a review on these soon. I actually really like them. This is a travel one or a sampler one. They're not this size. And that's kind of a dupe of Turkish Delight, so it's really nice. And then I just clean off my doe foot applicator before sticking it back in the case. So I hope that you enjoyed this lip combo of the week. It's probably the most elaborate one I've done in a little while, but I thought, why not? So I hope that you enjoyed this look. I had a lot of fun making it, and thanks for watching.